Here's how to improve your running technique so that you can run faster, further, with less effort, and most importantly, enjoy running more because it feels great. If you think that you've inherited the bad running technique gene from your parents and that you're doomed to experience running as a very painful and arduous activity for the rest of your life, I've got some really good news for you. The first step in improving your running technique is to abandon the belief that you cannot get better at running. You need to understand that running is a skill that you can practice and improve. The second step is to incorporate these four running mechanics drills that teach you postural strength, awareness and skill. They teach you how to position your body, what to do with your arms, where should you strike the ground, how to strike the ground. These things are going to be absolutely critical and these are the things that will make you run absolutely beautifully when you figure out how to do them unconsciously. Unconsciously really is the magic word because when you're running it's almost impossible to change your running technique because a lot of things are happening at the same time. Oh my god there's a car over there. Oh there's a rabbit running over the road. Here there's a cane toad. Oh shit, a snake. Crocodile. Yeah, there's all sorts of weird shit here in the northern part of Australia. But the thing to appreciate is that you only have so much mental bandwidth. You can't focus on all these different things at the same time while making sure that you're staying alive when you're out there in the open. So that's why these drills where you learn how to do these things unconsciously are so important for your running technique. Let's now go over the proper technique of executing these four drills as efficiently as possible so that you can become a faster and stronger runner. The first drill is marching and this is really the one that teaches you the postural strength and awareness. You're simply going to start marching on the spot and it's very important that you're, you've got the opposite knee and the opposite leg. So some of you might be going like this right now and it's like ah this shit just doesn't feel quite right. Yeah, it doesn't look right either. So opposite knee, opposite hand, very important. And you want your arm swing coming towards the middle of the body. So imagine that there's a divider here that's dividing my body into left and right. Your arm swing has to touch the midline, but it can't cross the midline, okay? So if you're crossing the midline, I'm turning excessively. If you go turning excessively when you're running, <laughs> really hard to simulate that, you're simply just wasting energy and the energetic cost of running is going to go way up and you're going to get fatigued way quicker than what you should be getting fatigued. The other thing about the arm swing is that you want to imagine that you're inside a phone booth. So you don't have that this much space, but you have to make it fit so that you're not going to touch the wall of the phone booth with your arm. And then on the back swing, your hand has to stop where your side is and your elbow should go behind the body. So it's the shoulder that is the pivot point of your arm swing. And the, why I'm going it over in so much detail is because this same arm swing technique is then going to be the one that you use when you're running, but especially it's going to be the one that you're going to use in all of these three other drills that are going to follow after this. So this is really, really important. So once we're marching on the spot, we're lifting those knees nice and high. I want you to lift your toes up like that. So your foot, feet on like that. But you're lifting your toes up like that because you want to be striking the ground with your midfoot when you're running. So you want to get into the habit of striking the ground, not with the heel, not with the tippy toes, but with the midfoot. That's super, super important. So once you've figured out how to do that drill on the spot, I want you to measure out 10 meters. You're going to start moving. I'm going to say the pile of horseshit there is my 10 meter line, even though it's probably a little bit further away. I'll call it quits there. I'm going to walk back as my recovery. The second drill is called the A dribble. So this drill really teaches you how not to overstride and how to strike the ground directly underneath the center of your mass, which is one of the most important things that, well, it's one of the things that most people are getting wrong. So this is a very, very subtle, but very valuable drill for you. 
So, we got the same arm swing and we're just gonna start dribbling on the spot. So, you're only lifting the foot to about middle of your shin height. So, not all the way up here, just about mid shin height and you're just making sure that you're hitting the ground with your mid foot. So, I'm not on the balls of the feet, but I've got my, I'm like lifting my toes up again, hitting the ground with the mid foot. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's the tempo that you want to go for. When you're good with that, start moving forward. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And when you get to the pile of horse shit, you turn around. Oh dear, I'm running, getting out of breath. See how these drills also increase your heart rate and get some blood flowing? Great thing to do before you're running because it really prepares you to run well and also warms you up nicely. The next drill is the A skip. And if you're one of those people who was really good at maths, but then at the same time, you know, in the athletics class, you were always picked the last because coordination wasn't your strongest suit, you might find this a little bit challenging, but just stay with it because you're going to gain immense benefits from getting better at this exercise. We're basically marching, but then we're adding a skip to it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. See how we're, we've got the same arm swing as before. We're still landing with the middle of the foot. And I, want, I just want you to listen to the rhythm. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You can start nice and gentle. And then when you feel confident, you can put a bit more power into it. Like, you want to imagine that you're getting yourself taller. You're almost like trying to touch the ceiling with your top of your head. So once you're good with that on the spot, we're going to move forward towards the horse shit. One, two, three, four. And when you get to the horse shit, you turn around. Oh boy, I'm really breaking a sweat now. Whew. The last drill is the A run. A A run. Where is A A run right now? Now, good news. If you figured out how to do the A dribble, you basically got the A run. It's exactly the same thing. However, now you're just bringing the knee in line with your hip. So, you're gonna start on the spot. When you go with that, you're gonna start moving forward. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Did I step on it? No. I highly recommend doing these drills before every run that you go for, because as you noticed, I've broken a sweat, my heart rate's elevated, so you're warming yourself up very effectively, but now you're also building these skills and you're priming yourself to run really, really well during your run. And if you want to take this to the next level, you would actually do the only mobility drill that you will ever need, watch the video, before you go into doing these four running mechanics drills. And then off you go, you're onto a fantastic run from there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next.